What if you delegated more work to your clients and that actually meant they got results faster and had a better experience? Now you're probably saying, Greg, you're out of your mind. There's no way my clients are gonna do the work. They obviously are paying me because they want me to do it for them. That's why they're paying me. Now what I'm betting is that your clients really just want the result that you promised. Now what I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can actually make your agency more self-service and in doing so, reduce your labor costs increase the speed to which your clients get results and actually have your clients thanking you for it at the same time. Now, I gotta be the first to admit, I did not invent this. I did not pioneer this concept. In fact, if you traveled anywhere recently on a plane, you've already experienced this for yourself. You see, years ago, and probably like in the 90s, depending upon how old you are, I'm probably dating myself, you would go to the airport to catch a flight and you would walk up to a counter where you'd speak to a human being, you'd show them your ID or your passport, they'd print out your boarding passes and they gave it to you on paper, they would put the label on your luggage and they would put it on the conveyor belt behind the counter and that's how you checked in. Well, if you've flown in the last decade, you probably have had a much more seamless experience. In fact, you've been doing some of that work yourself and probably haven't complained one bit at all. You see, in 1995, Continental Airlines were the first to introduce the self-service kiosk and at the time, all they did was print out your boarding pass. But again, if you've traveled recently, you notice that not only can you print your boarding passes, but you also print your luggage tags. And depending upon the airport you're in, you actually will roll your luggage over to the conveyor belt and put it on the conveyor belt yourself. In many cases, do all of that without ever interacting with a human being at all. Which if you think about it, the airlines that are utilizing these kiosks have replaced human beings, lowered their labor costs, and actually invited you to do it. And you haven't complained in many cases at all. In fact, you're probably thankful because it saved you time. So the key here is this move, this adding of the self-service kiosk is actually a benefit to the traveler, the customer, because you get to get through your check-in process a whole lot faster without having to deal with the long lines and also having to deal with human beings that may or may not be at the counter when you actually get there, which means you probably can get to the airport a little bit later than you used to. And as you can imagine, it's also a benefit to the airline because they've reduced check-in times and they've minimized over millions millions of dollars in labor costs. So why does this matter to you in your agency? Well, I'm saying all this because at the end of the day, you can actually delegate work strategically to your clients inside of your fulfillment and delivery process that will allow your clients to get results faster, save you time, save you labor costs, but also make it a delightful experience by bringing your client into the experience and they won't really complain about it because they're going to get the result a whole lot faster. Now, I'm sure you're like, Greg, give me some examples and I'm happy to do so. But if you're liking this video, go ahead and click the like button, click the subscribe button because we release a new video every single Thursday. Now, when I had my marketing automation agency called Systemly, we commonly built out sales funnels and marketing funnels for our clients, specifically webinar funnels. Now, when a client came in, we already knew exactly what type of webinar funnel they wanted because we became known for executing specific styles of webinars that people were coming to us for. Now, in order for us to execute and do the work effectively, we needed certain things from our client. So fundamentally, we created an interactive creative brief that our client had to fill out because at the end of the day, I know in your business, this is true as well, just like it was in mine. There are certain things your client can do and will do better than you because they're the expert in their field. You're an expert at the marketing strategy. You're an expert at branding or building funnels or lead gen or whatever, but they know their client best. And so you can actually save a lot of time, specifically in onboarding, if you create a systematic, repeatable, choreographed process that has your client doing some of the work that they'll be able to do on their own time without ever even talking to you that will then prepare you to do the work that you do so well. When you get this right, like we did, you actually can kick off the working arrangement with your new client, delegate some work to them. They're gonna do some of the heavy lifting, but it's not gonna be heavy to them because it's so natural because it's their business, it's their expertise. So we collect all of the things that we need that allow us to go do all of the execution 
execution, the implementation in a much shorter window of time. And because they can get started on their own without us, we actually got to the result a whole lot faster. In fact, we were building out these webinar funnels upon a handoff from the client with the assets we requested, we would deliver it in five to seven business days in most situations. So we were able to charge 15, 20 grand for webinar implementation funnels. And so my question is, how can you actually delegate work to your client in a way where they'll probably thank you for it because they get to lean into their own expertise, their know-how, and give you the things that you need to succeed. Remember, you're the expert at what you do. They should be the expert in their business as well. And that's where we want to insert the self-service kiosk inside of our fulfillment process. It's leaning into the things that they can do much faster than us with the correct process and choreography that you have to create and control. Just like the airlines allow the kiosks to do certain functions, you need to determine exactly which functions and which pieces you're going to delegate to your client to create a seamless experience. So if you want to increase your profits, decrease your labor costs, increase the speed to your clients getting results, it's time to start adding self-service elements into your fulfillment. Now, what I wanna know is in the comment section below, tell me what is one thing that you're going to be able to delegate to your client inside of your fulfillment process? I'll see you in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.